This procedure demonstrates the optic nerve crush injury and subsequent analysis of retinal ganglion cell survival in a mouse model. This is achieved by injection of a fluorescent dye into the superior colliculus on day one. The dye is retrogradely transported to the retinal ganglion cells to label this cell population. As a second step, an optic nerve crush injury is made on day four to cause optic nerve degeneration, which will lead to a gradual death of the retinal ganglion cells. On day 11, the retina is dissected in order to investigate retinal ganglion cell survival. The result of this procedure shows the number of remaining viable retinal ganglion cells based on a count of fluorogold labeled retinal ganglion cells performed using fluorescence microscopy. Hi, I'm Zhong Shu Tang from Dr. Shuri Li's lab in National Eye Institute, NIH. Now, I'm going to show you how to perform the mouse optic nerve crush injury model. The main advantage of this technique is that it provides a simple, stable, and efficient way to label retinal ganglion cells and to investigate the survival or degeneration after optic nerve crush injury. This method can help answer key questions in the optical neuropathy field, such as glaucoma. The implications of this technique extend toward therapy. If we apply some treatment, such as growth factors or some receptor agonists or inhibitors, before or at the same time as optic nerve clutch. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle.